for me, Good Hub, and I've just received a parcel that I thought we could do an unboxing video for. Obviously, I know what's in this, um, but I thought I'd bring you guys along to unbox it, unbox it so you can see how I react to it and you can guys can see it for the first time um, like I am. So, uh, obviously, I know what's in this. Um, for if you want to have a guess while I'm unboxing, it is a common gun or an ear gun. Um, there is a lot of them around, however, this is a rare one. Now, how does that work? Have a think about it while I'm unboxing it. You might get it, you might not, but we'll see. Uh, the guy I bought this off is really, really good. Big shout out to Paul. Um, he did hold on to this for me for two or three weeks while I was trying to gain the funds to buy it. Top bloke. Um, I bought my Colt 1911 Gold Cup off him as well. Fantastic guy. There's a few guys on our group that have um, bought guns from him as well. Um, some have already got them. Some are in the post awaiting them. So... Yeah, top guy, but let's get into it. Have a think about what it might be. So, she's a stunning knife, I'm gonna be really careful. And I know last time, Paul packed this package really, really well, so I know this will, um, this will be packed really well. Just as a note, this box is actually quite big in comparison to what's inside, which means I know it's been packed really, really well. This is how everyone should pack parcels, take note. Okay, uh, where to start here? Should we start here? See what we can do. Hopefully that's... Nope. Another polystyrene bits and another box. This is proper packing. Come in. Does anyone guess what it might be yet? That's the general rough size of the box. It is a larger Umarex box. That might give you a clue. There we have it, the Smith & Wesson logo. You might know what it is by now, but do you? As I said, it is a rare reversion. It's not just a normal Smith & Wesson. So I think about that while we just uh, take this little bit of tape off. Might need to use the Stanley for this really carefully. There we go. Now then. Let's have a look. Take these instructions out of the way. Can you see that? There it is. It is a Smith & Wesson 686, but it's the PPC 1500 version. There you go. 1500 ever made in the world? Apparently only a hundred came to the UK, so that makes this pistol pretty rare in my opinion. 
There's a nice little foam cut out there in the box for it. Very, very good condition. The box, the box looked like it's never even been uh, opened. It's probably damaged now I've dropped it. Um, as you can see, it does say PPC 1500 on the side there. These do have their own unique serial number. They are finished in a brushed stainless steel rather than the nickel like the normal 686. How's that for you? Absolutely stunning. There you go. Thank you very much for watching. If you could like, subscribe, share, comment, that'd be great. And I'll see you next time. Thank you.